So in a traditional business plan competition, you start with the problem and then you come up with the solution. The Y Prize is special because you start with the solution and then it's your job to find the problem. There's a difference between invention and innovation. So invention is the creation of the idea itself. The innovation is when you translate that invention, that underlying technology or the science, create something out of it that can have impact in society. The idea is to bring together teams of students who are going to focus on certain technologies that are emerging from the school and identify new markets for them. This year's focus is different aspects of biomedical engineering. This work started at Penn with the idea that we could really develop one central platform bringing together data that currently is being created but not actually fed into one central place, or data that's owned by different people, or data that's in very different formats. So that rather than having to type everything in and spend thousands of man hours and making mistakes, you just drag and drop the different files and they're integrated automatically and become available and enable much better science, much better medicine as a result. Microfluidics is essentially really, really tiny fluid channels. We can bring really small amounts of fluid together in really specific ways. So a single microfluidic device, uh, typical throughput is about one milliliter per hour. And what our lab is trying to do is to scale this up. So rather than having a single stream making these particles, we're gonna have millions upon millions of streams on, on a single chip. So you very quickly go from milliliters per hour up to liters per hour. And we wanna get even further to tens of liters per hour, to hundreds of liters per hour, to take this to the point where it can be used for industry. People who are familiar with taking pictures, they take these to look at the pictures and record a particular instance of what they're interested in looking at. When we take pictures in medical imaging, we're interested in being able to extract and quantify and measure things that are in the image. These could be for taking care of patients or they could be taken for the purposes of doing research. If we can improve this technology, make it faster, make it more commercializable, then we can really impact the lives of patients in many different diseases, in many different areas of medicine. A research-oriented faculty member creates new knowledge, and very often new technologies. But if those technologies are never implemented, they don't have a chance to help the world. Being part of this competition gives you access to researchers from the labs where these technologies are being pioneered, and you get to work one-on-one -on -one with them to learn about the intricacies of the technology and what are their strengths and weaknesses and how to best apply that to a real world scenario. We're participating in the Y Prize because we're looking for someone to take the technology that we think solves one of the major challenges of how do you commercialize technology and actually use it and solve some problem in industry that, that can't be solved otherwise. Of course, for the winner, we've got a cash prize and support to help them commercialize their ideas. But going from past experience, even the other finalists have had tremendous success and have progressed very well based on the experience they had at the Y Prize. The Y Prize is a wonderful opportunity for students to work in a team-based project. Everybody working together across discipline lines. That's where creativity is going to happen and that's where impact's going to happen.